So we are having a great meeting here on the 24th of August. Tomorrow is my husband's birthday. Tell him happy birthday. We will have to tell him that. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, so you've got what you you've got a display set up of skincare. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. And so Mary, talk about what it is you're going to be doing with that. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You gotta sit down in front of your computer because okay, here we go. It's garbled. Yeah. There you go. Hi. Well, as it as it turns out, most women love to come here rather than me go there. And and it, that way they don't have to, you know, do their kitchens or fix their house or do anything. And I just always so I thought in setting this up, it would do two things. Number one, it'll kind of promote my own internal self to get moving uh, and, and you know, just appreciate what we have. And then the second thing is I've talked to a couple of people who have maybe some shows in the offing. They're going to talk to their Marjan group tomorrow. And if they do, they'll come here to the house. And if they do, then, of course, I'd come to my Mary Kay room back here and choose and look and smell and taste and all that stuff. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that because this is, that's, um, and I, if I, if this is kind of my theme for tonight because Mary and I have been talking a lot this week about, okay, what, what's, what's getting in the way of making progress? What's getting in the way? And it usually is finding new customers. But that's not always it. It's in, but so a lot of it, a lot of it, I think can can be self talk. Can be what? Self talk. What do you say to yourself, and what goes around in that head between those two ears? Um, and I'm not talking just about you. I mean, I'm, I've been actually I've been kind of challenged with that this month because um, things have in my end of, of Mary Kay have been really very quiet. I'm like. You have to be careful about what happens in that head. So, um, so yeah, we were talking about different ways to build things up. Well, Ruth, how about your week? How is you're looking discouraged or something? What is that face, Ruth? <laughs> I, I'm looking. I'm looking at all the uh, potentials on the uh, video, uh, not video, but on my backgrounds, and I'm going. I didn't know I had this and this and this. So oh. I was like, oh, I was looking at them. I'm going, huh? I was discovering. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. And plus I got my laptop up on a a, a a shelf. Okay, there you go. I know. I, oh. I can tend to try and do something and like that. This is my keyboard. Oh, you can't see it. Let me take the virtual background out and you can see my back my uh uh you can see my new um keyboord. Oh, oh, baby. That's hot stuff. It's by, by X performance. It's like Thirty dollars, and I said, "Mine." <laughs> oh, I love it, and, it's so and it's cute. and it's and it's wireless, and it's pink. <laughs> oh, where'd you find that? Where'd you find it? And 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 the mouse is pink too. Where um, did you get it? X Performance. X Perform. Is that a, a website? Well, X Nine. X Nine Performance is the brand name. I got it on Amazon, but you oh, can go to oh, X. Oh, so the keyboard X, you got on Amazon. X. Yeah, X Performance. Go. I, I googled. Well, no, I found out from people at work because they, they had it, and I'm going. Oh, I want one, and I whined a lot. So, I I said I'm <laughs> just getting it. I'm quit stopping the whining. So, I got it. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness! And yes, it's big. It is cute. Well, big I buttons. Too. It's big buttons too. It's not the little things you got on your laptop. So that's I got that last Friday, and I'm going. Oh, I love it. I well, I think it sounds what I mean. I think we're all going to have to get them. <laughs> I, I think those, I would, be, those would be nice I'll, I'll, gifts. Yeah, X Nine Performance, and that's X9 that's the, that's the brand name. Okay, well, thank and, you. And it comes with the the batteries. It comes with um the the uh, uh, USB plug in, and everything's wireless. It's really cool. <laughs> well, it comes, in every, it, comes in various colors. Comes in purple, gray tones. Um, black and whites and bl totally black, just like a regular keyboard, and um, and pink I liked best. It sounds absolutely delightful. <laughs> so I I deserved it, so I got it. 
Okay, so <laughs> oh, there you go. So that was what you did last last week in your Mary Kay. Yeah, and I got um a couple more orders um from a color card that I had all but one of the colors because it, that color particularly was discontinued. But I reached out to your friend and mine, Nancy Rita Flynn, and oh, oh my gosh, gosh, she had it. <laughs> Rita, 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 she's Rita, a sweetheart. I love her. Have. Rita, Rita, yeah, she, Rita has everything. She, <laughs> she has a lot of old inventory and, too. And that's okay. It was the, the color, I color, the eye color that the, my customer wanted was shadow. And that was out like last year. Yeah. I, it's been gone it was for on a the while. color card and I've had them for a while and well, there I go. But I know various people I could probably call on and get things. <laughs> well, I mean, that, and that's funny that you talk about Rita because um, I talked to Kathy Elliot, who's in our unit, she lives lives downtown Chicago, and she goes she goes to Rita's meetings. Rita, mm -hmm. Rita does her meetings on Zoom, and she trades with Rita also. So I just had a long talk with Kathy last week, and I didn't even know it because we don't talk that much. She fell and broke her wrist in June. It's like, ooh, Rita or your friend? No, Kathy. 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 Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 So anyway, um, yeah, we have got these. And she's. I think she's been with me at least twenty five years, if not thirty. And oh wow like, so anyway amazing. so i i i got my orders fulfilled by by reaching out to other mary Kay sisters and it was it was terrific That's i feel good i just i just i started thinking you know there, there's some difficulty at my work and i'm going do i need this <laughs> i'm and i'm going you know i i don't know i'm kind of on the fence and, and it's the first time it's ever come up in two years so I, it's just like it, and it wasn't anything gigantic or earth shattering. It was just a controversy that I I can't understand. And that and I I I just gave it up. And I said, okay, if this is the way it's going to be, it's going to be. So and I, but it's still like, why? You know, it's <laughs> why funny does it how have to be that way. And that's that's actually all part of the discussion. I really want to get into tonight. I we just um, I was telling Beth we had uh, landscapers come over today. The lady that lives across the street from me, her son has been a manager at Costco for like the last fourteen or fifteen years, and he and his buddy decided to start a landscaping business. And um, and I was kind of looking for someone new, so we spent the, the, a good hour, hour and a half talking with these guys. Um, and the, this young 44 year old guy is saying, you know, it wasn't worth it. I don't want to have regrets. So I'm starting my own business. I'm doing what I love. I love digging in the dirt. I love doing this and this and 12 or 14 hours a day. Yes, it was something of a hit, at least for the moment with our income, but we're okay. And, um, and so mm -hmm. I'm just, I mean, I said, you, you're talking Midwest values because a lot of time Las Vegas values are not quite the same <laughs> Midwest values. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, okay. And um, but I we, we're so excited to be working with them. But 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 it was the whole thing. And I guess that was my thing when I started. And it's like, why are we here? And is it about the money? Well, maybe a little, but mostly it's about the experience and control over life and being in charge of our lives. Because this is this is what we want to do because we want to do it, and when we want to do it, then we'll do more of it, and we like it, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> so, Bill, talk, yeah, talk about your week. Absolutely, what's going on with your week? Well, my week's been kind of fun. Uh, my customers got their books, so I always call to make sure they got their books, and then from there, they always order or we set up an appointment, and they come to see me. I think I've put in five shop to you drops this month wow well and and that's exactly you and you, most of the people come to your house too i mean you go to people sometimes but they yeah isn't that nice and so yeah go ahead Mary. What, what does the shop to drop mean it's every month every month there's a it's, it's a kind of a new contest every calendar month and you submit the people that you did the makeovers with or did, did a career talk with. Like, for instance, Mary, you did a career talk with that girl in Colorado. Okay. So that's five points. So you can put her name in there and she could be in the drawing for $500. And you would also be in the drawing for the, the, the um, purse. Oh. And that's all actually in the email I put out today. 
I was going to say, it closes the end of our, uh, this month, Love too. It. Hurry up and do it. Well, well, and yeah. That's, that's okay. the other thing. You have to submit the form um, in the same, well, in the calendar month, because if you wait till September 1st, you can't go back. Okay. It's got to be done in August. Okay. Well, I've been uh, also in touch with her via mostly text and, um, you know, just dropping little how you doing what's we up we haven't and, talked about that anymore we need yeah. to talk about that i found something this week if you want me to share sure that i do think that, do i that. think the what, girls would love this inspirational tidbit for today well i found this and it is i was helping gail she and i help each other all the time and of course and she called and she said, you, you know, Mary, I'm having a hard time finding order of application. And so since we have these wonderful new products that are the boosters and the, you know, it's very, it can be very confusing. Well, anyway, so we went online and together we found this. How to get the most out of your skincare. And these are on uh, order of application. And so this is day, this is night. In the day, this is what you do at night. This is what you do. And this just describes all the different products. Whoops, am I on? Okay. You are. Why? Oh, that, I was going to say. She's just I... going to it online. There it okay. is. So then uh, the best thing hey. is, let's just, there you are. And then let's say, say that you sell, this one is your miracle set. And this is just a piece you can, again, print out. And then it helps your customer know, this is what I do first, either or, or this is what I do next. And this is the order of application morning and night. So these, they could take home with them to help them remember, oh yeah, that's right. After I cleanse, this is what I use. After I, you know, depending, <laughs> here's the time-wise repair set, which will be really valuable for my customers because most of us out here are in the repair and so it's like well do i do this first or do i do this second and blah 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 so i just thought these were very very valuable and i didn't know if you knew they were even on there they, it you know you could we could spend probably eight hours five days a week talking about what's available on mary Kay in touch um, I agree. There is so much that, that's there. It's, it, I'm glad you found it because it really is very good. Oh, well, I think it's a great tool. Once you, you know, they've tried the product and they probably are sitting there like, okay, what did I do first? What did I do second? And so you just reassure them, you know, I don't expect that you'll remember all of this in the first visit. So between now and our second facial, these are the things you would follow. And they're, like I said, it's just a sheet of paper you could tuck right in to their order as they leave. And if they're the miracle set, repair set, you know, whatever. So Thanks. Absolutely. That was, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Seriously, that's, um, that is really, really helpful. Um, and, and, and it's funny because I've had a couple of customers asking for that recently and, um, and some relatively inactive consultants. They're going, what's yes. the poster? And, you know, and they don't know. And that's, you know, that's, that's cool. Um, so that just helps with a quick explanation also. Um, and not everyone is on the computer all the time. So it's kind of like, that's the way, that's the way right. that goes. Right. So fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Well, thank you. And, and Beth, well, I'll tell you what, uh, what I really wanted to, to talk about tonight a little bit was, and this may not even be an issue, but maybe it's just my issue because things have been so quiet. I'm like, hmm, okay, I feel like, where is everybody? I'm kind of doing some reach out and I'm not getting a lot of calls back from my <laughs> customers. And then I'm reaching out to consultants and it's really quiet. And I'm hoping everybody is waiting till Saturday to place an order this month because, because um, usually we're sitting at five or 6,000, at least at this point, we're at 3,500. And I'm like, okay, so let's have, you know, so I, so then your mind starts going, do you ever do that? Or is it just me? Oh, no, oh. no. Oh, yes, I do that. <laughs> right. I, know. I know we all do that because we, we, our heads get going. It's like, okay. And I, I remember we had, um, when I was a consultant, we had a red jacket rally every, every month. And um, I, finally got in my red jacket. It took me a year to get into my red jacket because I just, um, 
I would what what was going on in my head was probably pretty scary, but um, it was it was the transition from being a a boss that had someone's salary in their hand to an inspirational leader, and that was a big transition because I was used to being uh, being in charge of my whole occupational therapy department and I could tell people what to do. Um, that's not the way it works, and so it took me a while to transition. I kept going. I'm really good. I'm really good. I'm not really good. I have, I didn't like being at the bottom of the totem pole as a Mary Kay consultant. I wanted to be up in the top, you know? And so it was all these messages that keep going around in our heads. And what do we say to ourselves? Um, and so I, I thought maybe we would just talk about that. If, if you're getting stuck now, I don't think any of you guys are stuck tonight. So maybe it was just me. And I was in a grumpy <laughs> mood this morning. And I said, well, that's what we're going to talk about tonight. <laughs> So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to share this with you because you never can tell when it might be valuable to kind of know, um, kind of know this information and we can definitely move on because there's some other things I wanted to talk about too. And I'm looking for my, this right there. That's what I'm looking for. I'm Mary Kane. Okay. Um, I found this and I thought it was so perfect. <laughs> And I just thought it was so funny because it was like, um, seriously, um, sometimes we, you know, we, we could, we say, no, no, I don't want to think that way. I don't want no, I got to be careful what I think. Yeah, about. Mine's sometimes it's like, <laughs> just go off on a loose end and say, I'm terrible. I wish I could do this. I'm not doing Mary Kay anymore. I can't stand this. You, you, I hope somebody else has been there besides me. Oh yeah. I'm right there. <laughs> yeah, because because yeah, I know. And we get there, and that what goes on in our heads is, well, it's pretty scary. <laughs> it can be very, very scary. So what I thought, and maybe you've seen this before, but I I've always felt that this is a really, really valuable thing. I learned it when I was a consultant, and you the the emotional cycle you go through constantly. Okay, so all right, so we went to seminar. Okay, we're all excited. I'm going to be a director. We're going to do a Cadillac. You know, we're going to be a Cadillac unit. We're going to we're going to do quarter sales. We're going to do quarter sharing. We're going to do triple star. We're going to do this, that, and the other thing. That 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 that. So we're all excited. A brand new consultant is always excited. It's like, yeah, I got this going. I I'm I'm going to keep myself on top of this. And then stage two is then you get frustrated when, oh, what do you mean no one came to my launch party? What do you mean I've called ten customers and no one wants anything? Um, what, what do you mean when I, I mean, I'm scared to talk to people about recruiting because they might not like me or the stuff we say to ourselves. And so by the time you get to the stage three, it's like, you know what? I was all excited. And I know there are some other people that do it, but I'm not sure if I can do this one. Well, this isn't right for me. Ew, I don't know. And then you go into, um, well, maybe I just shouldn't be doing this anymore. And, you know, um, Maybe, well, maybe it's right for other people, but not for me. I, I mean, I don't know that I can do this. And I don't really want to work that hard. And I, I don't have to do it. So I could I could always go back to my other job. Or, or I'm, I'm getting in, you know, you talk yourself into whatever. And then you're going, um, I don't think I can do it anyway. The stage, the, the stage five, <clears throat> get, it gets kind of really scary. You say, oh, I now I, I don't I don't really want to talk to anyone about Mary Kay, so I'm not going to even talk to anybody about it. No, no, I'm not going to say anything about it. Um, and I'm, I'll be fine the way I am. You know, it's it's okay. I don't have to. I don't have to do Mary Kay. I don't know how many times that's went through my head. I don't have to do Mary Kay. Hmm. <laughs> and then you go, and then you can get angry. And you're kind of, kind of angry. Well, they didn't tell me it was going to be like this. They didn't tell me that August, a hot August or a hot July was going to be a problem. They didn't tell me that if there was a hurricane, I would I would have problems getting my orders. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't. Well, my director isn't telling me right. Well, the company isn't doing a good job. You know, but the company's out of product. It, everybody, it, you start blaming. You start blaming. And what, this is when people quit Mary Kay. Okay. If you don't, then you end up getting recommitted and saying, well, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I am good. I can do this. So-and-so can do it. 
You know, I'm sure other people have done it. If they can do it, I can do it. And so you start the whole cycle again and you get excited. Now, have you been there, do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what helps me oh, is yeah. I always think of what Mary Kay said. What's that? Nothing happens till somebody sells something. And so when you think about that, that's a pretty deep statement because you do go through these things. Right. And then all of a sudden someone calls you and they need A, B, C, and D and you're getting a check for a hundred dollars and the next one calls or you bump into somebody and they need, and are you still a Mary Kay? And all of a sudden the life opens up again. And so I, I think it, it's a cycle and I always help myself by saying what she said, nothing happens till somebody sells something. I love it. I love it. And and that is so true. And I mean, even if it, if, if it's a, it's a, an eyebrow brush, which we yeah, don't even have exactly. anymore. But um, you know, I mean, it used to be a two dollar eyebrow brush, and um, but seriously, someone wants something, and then you you feel like, okay, maybe I can do this. But I think it's valuable every now and then to remember that this happens, and it's it's a normal kind of thing. And if you understand the system, then you're going to say, okay, I can get through this in the next five minutes you know okay i'll be fr frustrated okay i'm gonna go through the thing i'm like i'm scared i don't want to talk to anyone okay now i'm past that okay now i'm gonna be past, you know so you can get really good at going through the cycle really fast <laughs> so the other thing is i pray i just say a, a quick short prayer and i'll just say well lord you just guide me t today you know and put me where you need me is my thinking and so then i end up like the other day I came out of sprouts and the gal was selling some vitamins and I stopped just because I was curious but that ended up being kind of a great visit and uh, did I go in that grocery store thinking I would ever stop to talk to her no but I just kind of hand it to the Lord and just say you know my heart and put me where you need me and I think that's huge I I'm a hundred percent with you that is certainly that's the way I start my day every day and and throughout the whole day don't we don't we give thanks all the time because that's because that's why you and I are here today or tonight so that's good um I love this quote from Warren Buffett Buffett uh you continue to suffer if you if you have an emotional reaction to everything that is said to you the true power is sitting back and observing things with logic true power is restraint if words control you, that means everyone else can control you. Mm -hmm. Breathe and allow things to pass. This is potentially important to put it on a frame in your office. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or or in the bathroom or somewhere because um, we all have triggers. We all have things that are going, oh, and, and you know. Oh, I'll have somebody at work I want to give that to. Uh, <laughs> seriously but because because a lot of people don't they don't i think a lot of people don't know they can have a different reaction yeah a lot of people don't know what logic is women <laughs> women by nature we are not real logical we're very emotional that to me that's for sure for yes sure, for sure. so then yeah. when you realize that part you say to yourself well then i can learn to be more logical and then you read something like this, and it's wonderful. I love I, I that. I mean, he, he's he's kind of a pretty good person to listen to, don't you think, Warren Buffett? <laughs> oh is. yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, anyway, so then I I thought about this book, and um, this book is not That's... new. It's it's been around. It's I mean, I don't know how many editions they put put out, but what to say when you talk to yourself? I have taught about this book probably the whole time I've been a director. It's such a powerful thing, and it's 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 an eye opener. And it's a real easy read, although I, it's confrontive in a way. So then it's not an easy read. But it, but the the book is, and I'm I'm into reading books um, online, and I've certainly lately gotten into audio books because then I can listen to them if I'm driving or if I'm putting on my makeup or whatever. Um, and because I actually don't like to read, there's something, it's just the, the way my mind works. I would rather listen than read. 
So this book about what to say when you talk to yourself, and it, it, and it's good to review this. Um, I think it's just um, what what goes on in your head. It, it, I mean, it's it's a scary place to be sometimes in our heads. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. But then then I thought, well, let's get more positive here, Nancy. Um, let's talk. What what are the six things mentally strong people do? I love the first one. Mm -hmm. on. They don't waste time feeling sorry. Well, that goes back to that cycle, don't you think? Yes. You, know, you move on and you're going, okay, yeah, okay, I had a reaction. I want to kill that person or I, I mean, it's bringing me to tears and they made me feel bad and blah, 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 blah. But then you're going, okay, I'm done with that now. Um David Cooper used to say, you're allowed a three minute pity party. And if you want to do that, do it well. I mean, if you're going to do a pity party, get into it and say, I feel terrible. And like, like, let your brain go and then get, okay, I'm done with that now. <laughs> a five minute pity party. Okay. You can do 10, but don't do a whole day and don't certainly don't do a whole week because you want to move on. And that is a skill in itself. Six, also strong people will embrace change. They welcome challenges. Okay, can you turn this situation around um, to make it a challenge as opposed to a problem? Okay, sometimes it's just a problem. Sometimes Nancy, Nancy get out of my head. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it, and I, Mary, I, 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 I have to. If I, if I, I hope I'm not going to offend you, but I have to say, Mary Love has been a challenge for me sometimes. Because Mary Love came in to Mary Kay and she was going gangbusters. And then, and I was like, okay, I've got a great consultant I can run with. And then she went when went back into the Navy and went onto that ship and quit Mary Kay. I was like, oh, okay. So there's a challenge. Now, it, Mary was doing what Mary needs, needed to do, what her life was about. For me, it was a challenge. I was really disappointed. And I, I was like, of course, then I get thrilled when she comes back. Um, but though that's that's her life, it's her journey. But this is my journey. And do well, how do I want to spend it? Do I want to spend it being like ticked off that Mary went and did the Navy? <laughs> or <laughs> that's not or, you, Nancy. That's not you, Nancy. <laughs> um, oh, no. but it can be. It can be. Well, it could be. It but could it, be. It isn't. Yeah. And. And it then it takes the skill to learn to get past that and to learn the skill of getting past that. Can, can I make a confession? Well, well, if you want to. <laughs> my, I, I had um, been so intimidated by my, by my dad for years that it went into my adult life and nothing was right. And I was always wrong with him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing was right. No, no matter if the sky was blue, he'd say it's something else, but I, that was, I, it, it kept me in, um, when I would be in a new situation, anytime I would make a quote unquote mistake in my head, a mistake, somebody would call me out and I would go into depression for two weeks or more because I made a mistake. <laughs> I don't well, do that no more. There's I no was going to say you you don't you don't do that anymore. But I nope. and I and, and I guess Ruth, I, I knew I knew that about you. Um, yeah, and it I, took and me I, a long time. So, I, but, so, but what's good is you learn how to cancel, cancel. Absolutely, cancel, cancel. Let me out of that. So it's a skill, and it is it is not always easy, and it's always going to come up again. I mean, there are things that are always so so. You work on staying happy. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying I'm not to watch the news me. because I get challenged with staying happy. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. and they try. Don't waste energy on things you can't control. Mm -hmm. So I have to stop watching the news because I can be happy if I'm not watching the news. Number oh, four. I, I laugh. I laugh at the news anymore. It's like what? <laughs> well, not well now that. Actually, Ruth, I like that. That's a good. I'm going. You're kidding me. They did that. Ridiculous. I'm going. Why? There was. I, I remember a director year, years ago. Um, some some guest came to her meeting and something or other happened. I don't remember the incident, but but she just laughed and she said, "People are so funny." 
I thought, what a great way to handle a tough situation. I mean, it's not appropriate for everything, but sometimes just say, oh, people are so funny. Isn't that a great, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so, all right, um, be kind, fair, and unafraid to speak up. And that takes its own challenge. And um, it, yeah, and, number and five, and, willing and to this, take- this, and, and the, the situation at work is because I spoke up and I'm going, I'm not, I'm not backing down. I'm sorry. I'm going to make my point and that's it. There you go. Well, I'm, and what so do you do? What is your job, Ruth? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm an ass, a administrative assistant, a glorified secretary, whatever you want to do. I push papers basically. For, at, for what kind of at, business? For, um, in home care. Oh, great. Non-skilled, uh, non non-skilled with the VA. Oh, okay. So, so I work with the VA a lot. Okay. And let me tell you, those people need a chuckle or two. Ruth, Ruth is an amazing organizer. Ruth, Ruth is someone, when I met Ruth, she was running a daycare in her home because her daughter was, yeah, what, how old was Vicki? Like two or three? Yeah, when I started, about 18 months when I started with her. About 18 months. And so, so Ruth, was was rising to the occasion and and ran a very well run. In fact, she got in very involved with the whole state organization of child care workers or mm -hmm. um, or home, whatever home day care home based home child care. Um, yep. I, I mean, I I watched Ruth go to these different organizations and and be be such a leader. Um, <laughs> but but we still have issues. We still have issues. So I mean, it, it's it's like really really amazing. Every, everything is a learning curve. Everything is a learning curve. Everything is oh. a learning curve. Oh. Are you getting a tornado warning warning? warning? warning, warning, Will Robinson. That's what I'm wondering if Beth is getting a tornado warning in St. Louis. I don't think so. It's an Amber Alert. Oh, oh, oh Amber. The Amber Alert. Okay. Oh, as long so, you're not so be, sad. We're not going to watch you get blown away. <laughs> no, no that's a, that's, we're, in, uh, we're in a thunderstorm watch right now. Oh, are you? Chicago. Yay. <laughs> okay, so number five, willing to take okay. calculated risks. Number six, celebrate other people's successes. They don't resent, and, and then don't resent that success. And I'll tell you what, what's scary about this and it is rampant in Mary Kay and many other areas is comparisonitis. And I mean, I still can get into the whole thing of, well, um, so-and-so is not doing well. Jan Onset's doing that, but I'm doing better than she is. Well, I'm not doing as well as Jan Onset is because she did this. So, I mean, really, Nance, I, can you get over it? <laughs> but but it is, it is, it is a very everywhere. dangerous place. It's rampant everywhere, not just in America. It, it absolutely is. So, um, and then there's this 12 things successful people do, and I'll read through this more quickly. Um, but I, I think, and, and I can share these. I, in fact, I will, if you want me to, I'll put them on our Facebook group. And I actually remind me, I want to show you about boards. I want to show you a little bit about boards tonight. Okay. But anyway, um, so 12 things successful people do. They create and pursue SMART goals. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Um, they take decisive and immediate action. They focus on being productive and not being busy. Ooh, ooh, I, I can get real busy doing all kinds of useless things if I don't want to do whatever. Guilty as charged. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's like, ooh, I'm good at that. Okay, they make logical and informed decisions. That's taking the emotion out of things. They avoid the trap of trying to make things perfect. Hello. Okay, they work outside of their comfort zone and they keep things simple, okay? Um, sometimes when we get make things so complicated, it's it's an avoidance. It actually becomes an avoidance because, you know, whatever. Uh, number eight, focus on making small, continuous improvements. Number nine, measure and track your progress. Ooh, that's another one. Have I brought that up before? Measure and track your progress. I think I've talked about that. Um, maintain positive outlook as they learn from their mistakes. This is like the perfect person. Okay, I don't. It think is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, 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 I'm certainly not there. They spend time with the right people. That that one is a very important thing. And finally, maintaining a balance. And these are some things that I certainly lessons that I've heavily had to learn and relearn and relearn and still learn. 
But um, I think it, it's good to get that picture in your mind, don't you think? It's good to just kind of put some energy into that. I'm in a book club, a book and bunco club. It's with a bunch of entrepreneurial women but from my networking. There's some really great women. And so we read this book a couple months ago. Uh, it's small, it's easy reading, and it's made a huge impact on my life. I had coffee with a woman uh, a couple months ago, and I was telling her how much this had made a difference for me. She said that was when her business turned around. She read this book. Mm. So um, I'm I'm going to encourage you. I mean, and and I'm I'm actually already reading it for a second time, and I'm I'm just not a big book reader. But this book, it's just it's four I, as opposed to the twelve I just did and the six before that. This is just four things, and I think it's really really valuable. Uh, spend a little bit of time. I like to read a book like this, maybe a few pages maybe 10 pages, maybe 20 pages, and then put it down and maybe think about it for a couple of days. And kind I, of- I, I, re I recognize this, I, I've read it and it made an impact on me that really? got me out of that depression time. Wow, Ruth. Number one, don't take anything personally because it's not about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, and the other one, I love this one about don't make assumptions. Okay, again, if I can, it can be a, a hopefully not not offensive to Mary. I made the assumption Mary would be with me forever, and that wasn't her journey. Well, and, so far, I'm she pretty is, well. No matter what, you know, I'm far, I mean, I, I don't mean to put you on this. Well, maybe I do mean to. I, I it's, <laughs> it's with love. It's with love, Mary, because because you are your own person, and I respect that. It doesn't. I mean, it may frustrate me because I've got a plan in mind that includes you and you are going over here, but that's your life. It's not, I'm not in charge of your life. That's right. And Thank that, God. That, and <laughs> and, and the, other, the other question to pose is who can you change? Exactly, oh, exactly. <laughs> so, well, you know, remember, you have to remember when I did my name, you know, Mary Kay said, you know, it is uh, God first family second, Mary Kay third. And so here I, I went off on the ship. I wanted to get on the ship the whole 20 years I was in the Navy. Well, yeah, tell them, tell them what it is you were doing because it really is huge. Oh, well, I was, uh, this was my last year in the Navy for my active duty. Uh, the other captain came to me and said, Mary, you know, would you like to work on the Mercy? And I went, oh my God, I'd love it. So I worked on the USNS Mercy and we did a humanitarian mission in the Southern Philippines. And oh we gosh. did all kinds of surgeries. Uh, I worked with other nurses out of Australia, Japan. Oh my God, my, my nice. staff was amazing. I mean, I loved them. Wow. And I was part of the staff. I wasn't like in charge of everybody, but I was Probably the highest ranking officer. Yeah. So I was in charge. <laughs> wow. But anyway, that is wonderful. Was, but, but she didn't stay with me. I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> but only a moment. <laughs> I, but, and I, and, and see, and, but that goes, that goes back to this is Mary's journey and what a wonderful opportunity. And how, how could I be angry with her for doing that? <laughs> and of well, course, I love this woman. So um, I'm very and, and, and I got I'm very it was the most, most wonderful adventure really of my life. I, I, I loved my Navy and I did many wonderful things. I met the most interesting people, but that, that 30 day period on that hospital ship was just amazing. Uh, we worked 12 hour shifts. We were tired. Um, it, it it was you know, but it was so worth it. I loved every minute of it. I met so many wonderful women that love Mary Kay. By the way, I talked about Mary Kay even when I was on the ship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you want, Nancy? So Nancy, you weren't <laughs> far away from her at all. You were right there with her. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> it's just I mean, but I and 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 then I guess that's part of being a director too is seeing people come and go and people come and go and they whether they say people are in here for a season or for a reason or for a lifetime, 
And um, a lot of people are have been with our unit for a season. Um, I, and I mean, actually, Ruth, you will, you will remember Diane Carson. Diane Carson has been with, with me forever. And um, she has chosen to to fade away. Um, okay. And that's, I, I, that's kind of where she is in her life. But she was with us for like a good 20 years or something. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, and that's, and those are people that are important in my life. And hopefully we're important in their life too. Um, but to accept that and then don't make assumptions that they'll be with you forever. Oh gosh. Okay. And so that there's was another, I think Nancy, uh, as you are in a director suit and I am not, but I have had my red jacket and then I've lost my red jacket. And so I've had to grow up into knowing, Hey, nothing's permanent. And people come into Mary Kay and people leave Mary Kay. It's just right. this, it's this, I don't know, wave of yeah, it, people it, coming in and then a wave of people going out. So my, I started changing my expectations a little bit, right? Uh, not to give up, but to say to myself, well, if you've got two active recruits or three active people, you need to think forward and make sure that you need that fourth one. So if someone leaves or does something that you, you have that hole filled and I've had right. to learn that. Yeah. And, and now thank you, Mary. It. And that is, that is, that is also, yeah, part of the thing. Um, yeah. And so when the red jacket is fun, but you really want to get up to at least five, if not eight, as soon as you can. Because then, then you're, um, it's, it's what do they say? You shoot for the moon, and if you miss, you land among the stars. So you're shooting for team for eight people. So if you miss, you only have six, but you're still in your red jacket, and you're still a star. Yeah. So yeah. Right, important stuff. So anyway, I thought that was worthwhile to spend a little bit of time. I wanted to, I wanted to read something to you, um, and. And Ann Hansen, my my buddy down the street, um, who's a director, is, is so much fun. I, I pulled up some. Here it is. I wanted to read to you um, her message from two days ago. And she said, as I sit in my office putting in orders today, I looked at it. I said, I have $939.57 worth of products leaving my office today. It's only 9.30 a.m. This is not including two sets of the new miracle set going out next week. How do you do it? Uh, that was a question that was uh, asked of her. She said, well, I started with one booking appointment and my ability to care about others. I truly believe that I'm making a difference in it with our skincare, body care, glamour. I'm 100% sold on our products and the company. I listen to my customers. I care about them like family. I educate myself to the fullest about our products, and when I don't know, I ask. I've had to fake it I, until I made it, but one thing I never did was fake was caring and believing. And this is so true. She said, I built my customers with zero, or my business with zero customers, zero knowledge, zero experience, zero confidence, but I never quit. Never took the easy way out or stopped trying. And that to me is a stop trying because it's easy to kind of give up, isn't it? I've been scared, nervous, frustrated, and excited all in the span of one minute. <laughs> Do you love it? Um, <laughs> um, I have had so many no's, appointments, no shows, gone to houses that the hostess didn't answer the door, returned <laughs> the products, orders canceled, team members quit, family and friend, friends doubted me, my business, my products, but I never quit. Um, I would I would lie if I didn't think about it. But God keeps me here for a reason. So I embrace the challenge and celebrate my wins. I enjoy, um, I I rejoice in your wins. She was speaking to her unit. I will never quit on me or on you. Um, I will reach out our goals because we're women with integrity and grit. Remember to show up, to go up. Play full out when you're working. Play full out when you're working. Let God bless your efforts, but give him some give give him something to bless. <laughs> Good point. And never ever quit. I love you all conditioning. So I just thought that was a really great statement. I, and I think I'm gonna just keep that for a while because um I'm gonna go over to boards here. Um I what I started adding 
because we need inspiration. Now that there's the million dollar message, which is always, always good. And I just posted something else on here today. I listened, um, uh, I guess it was Tuesday morning. Kristen, Kristen uh, Sharp has a, a director meeting, but there's something that her mother gave about a 45 minute speech. And it was incredible to the point where I wanted to save it. Fortunately, I was able to. So let me talk for a minute about boards. This this is this app. Um, I think you guys have it. I don't know if you've, you've done what, much, much with it. It still needs a lot of work, but I'm getting into it more and more. If you go to boards under the National Gold Cover Information, um, there are all these, it's like a file cabinet, okay? It's basically like a file cabinet. You've got all this information, um, like you've got the, um, the first quarter of 2023, you've got the poster here. I bet you didn't even know it was here. Okay. There's a poster of the different things that you could win unless you want to take the points. Okay. And you have the option of taking the points. So look at that. If you're a sapphire, you can get that cute bag, the water bottle, about ooh, some fancy dancy sunglasses. How about that? Okay. I, I I used to always pick my prize based on certainly being at least a sapphire, but then as I te did more team building, I could earn the toaster or the telescope because I, I would pick a prize and work and figure out how I was going to get it. And I'm actually, I'm working on a watch. I want a Movado watch. I'm still working on more points. It's going to take me years to get that many points, I think. Um, but there's a watch I want because I'm taking the points. But if you didn't know that was there, then you may not. Okay. Um, so that that's going to give you a little bit more information. Um, what I wanted to do is go to different categories. Now I hired someone to set this up for me, and then I keep kind of moving these things around and I screw it up. So she's I think she's fixing it again. Um leads and booking ideas. Here's in, in case you're getting stuck. Here's, here's a place to go and say, okay, how would that work? It may not be the right thing for you to do, but there may be another one. And here are some great scripts. Oh, that's empty. Never mind. Okay, we're, we're working on that. Okay, that's not happening. Um, leads, how to find leads and booking ideas. Um, okay, a booking board. Okay, strategies and ideas. Now, th this is old. This is actually holiday, uh, holiday ideas from last year. But doesn't mean they aren't going to work a lot of them this year. Um, the, the new summer products. Monica's deals. Okay, Monica's deals. Uh, okay, I think. No, that's not where it is. Monica is the one that does the half off deals. And I think her stuff is somewhere else. Oh, here we go. That's the link. So it's right here. It talks about Monica and where you can find her half off deals and why she does it and how she does it. Okay. So you, I mean, talk about in touch, you've got even more opportunities to look at what's here. Okay. Let me get on it. What I wanted to show you. Um, where is, oh, I want to get out of here. I want to keep going down because there's even more. And I'm, I've got someone I'm working with and, and I'm doing more and more putting things in here. See, this is wacky. It's supposed to be next to each other. Pop-ups. This is the pop-up sale that I am doing on Saturday. Okay. Uh, I think it's here. Yes. I am doing a pop-up sale on Saturday based on what Jessica taught us a couple weeks ago. And I went to Canva because I've learned how to use Canva. And I made all these different uh, flyers. So once an hour... I'm going to do a bundle. So at eight o'clock, I'm doing this one. And I, what I decided is that I wanted to do different things for, um, based on what's in my inventory, or in this case, based on the fact that they can get a $60 Skinvigorate. So this was my own. I created these and I copy and paste out of Mary Kay and Touch and Pinterest. And you can just Google, I'll say you, you could Google Mary Kay under eye corrector and you're going to get four pictures if you want to get into creating stuff like this. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Um, I made this one up because we had a special offer where I got a bunch of Starlight Liquid eyeshadow. I've got like five of them. I'm like, I don't want five Starlight Liquid shadows. So I created something 
and, and it's the old I make oil free eye makeup remover. So I've created something. They're usually about 50 bucks. Where um, so every hour they're gonna get a text message. Okay. So it keeps going and they then they have to text me. Now I'm not gonna be home. Part of the day I'm not gonna be home. Um the, the typical satin hands um clinical solutions. Okay, so I am giving a little bit of a discount on that one. Okay, some are gonna be discounts. We all know everybody and their brother that got the two for one bogos is giving away these two for two two part masks like crazy because I I ordered like 15 of them, which means I got like 30. Okay, so um I've got a lot of masks. Um nothing special. I just found these pictures. I I had this, I found this template, and I am throwing in one thing about Mary Kay about the uh, becoming consultant. And so um, this is, a, I mean, actually, this could come out of there. This is, I've got something blank in case I want to do something else. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. But but I've got this in here for you. You can use these templates if you know how to use Canva. If you know you how to do what? What was that word? Can't C A N V A. It's a publishing kind of. It, it, you can make flyers and business cards and and postcards, etc. The um, the postcards that I send to you in the mail are often made on Canva. Okay. So it's it's um it's a decision if you want to learn how to do that. Many many directors do it. A lot of virtual assistants do this. Okay. Um, and there are companies and as directors, we, we do things. So this is actually, this is when two weeks ago, when Jessica, whoops, talked to us about pop-ups or I, I lost it. That's, that's the, uh, the meeting we had when Jessica was talking to us. So it's a good review of how to do it. So this is, and I, I just run to really encourage you um, to work with me and we can keep adding things because seriously, this is, this is like, and you, you don't have to get lost in Mary Kay and touch. Um, but this is a resource for you guys. And so you don't have to wait for, for the meeting or you don't have to wait for whatever. Um, a Facebook party, a full circle party, a couch party. That's where you do the, the, the makeovers on the hands. Okay. I think that's in here. Okay. Now it's not clicking. Why is it not clicking? I don't know why it's not clicking. Oh, there it goes. This tells you how to do a couch party. Many, many, many resources. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an orientation to that. Um, I thought you might find that beneficial. Oh, I got a few more things. It's time to go. Holy cow, give me just a minute. Um, here. Um, I want to remind you about wholesale orders this month because I am, I do, I can get the new holiday stuff. Da, 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 and you can get some treats depending on how much wholesale your wholesale is for the month. Um, I know I was late getting this out, but again, I'm going to encourage you to work, print up some of these. I put it on the Facebook group. I don't think I put it in boards yet. Print up some of these and put it in front of you every week. And just kind of keep track of what activity you're actually doing. Okay? okay. You, sent, you sent it to me in a text. Did I send it in? Uh, yeah, okay. I sent it in a text also, didn't I? I was trying because I was a little late getting it out. You mean I'm not that special? I wasn't the only one that got it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ruth. <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. But I thought I was <laughs> no. <laughs> so all right. So and I just want to wrap this up with Beth Beth and I are signed up for the Bahamas. I don't know. Um I don't know where Maggie is tonight, but um I don't know who else is going. Um but we would love to have some fun with it. And um this is this is out there. So but the deadline to sign up um to get the special the best deal is the 30th, which would be um Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday next week. And, oh, new recruits. You, there is still time. There's another whole week. You could sponsor your new recruit. Mary, let's talk some more about your girl in Wellington, Colorado. Okay. 
And Good. one more time for bingo. Uh, we talked about the shop till you drop. And um, Consistency Club, you'd all know about that. Um, three of us actually have gotten, I guess that's not in there yet, um, our little kit. That's kind of good. And Ruth Maple is only 155 away, girl. You're going to do it. I know you will. You probably didn't even know that, right? I didn't know that. And now that, is it wholesale? Wholesale. Okay. You could, you, could, you can it's, do that. It's, it's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Get focused. Okay. There you go. Get, get phoning. A couple of us have finished a star already and probably are going to exceed the bigger ones. And those that are on target, I mean, Maggie's like one minute away. Um, and we're going to from Pearl. Um, Beth is one one breath away from Sapphire. So and that's all going to happen. So, um, and Beth is our queen of the week. $380. Beth. This um, and, and have you noticed how many items Beth sells? 53 items so far in August. Woohoo! That girl's awesome. Ready? Actually, I, I, I need to report I got three more. All right. Thank you. Well, you know what? It's kind of fun to do that, isn't it, Ruth? It, it kind of is, if I remember. Yes, it is. Like, ooh, I, po I posted it. It made it real. Ta-da! Absolutely. Good. You need to post those items. And I'm still looking for whoever's going to earn a car. Um... <laughs> And um, that is it for tonight. So, all right, superstars, um, thank you. I hope this was 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 fun for you to kind of think Thank through. you, Nancy. It did hit the nail on the head for me. I have wrestled with many of the items we covered tonight. I wrote down both of the books. Oh, and cool. um, I, want, uh, I want to get both of these, actually, because I do a lot of self-talk. You know, when you live alone, you talk to your dog a lot. But anyway. <laughs> Oh, or you talk in your head, which is even more dangerous. <laughs> That's right. It's very dangerous. <laughs> so thank you for everything. I think this was a good meeting. Oh, good. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you guys for participating. And just, I, it, it, I, it is, I just look forward to our Thursday nights because it was so much fun with you. I love thank you. Thank you. Love you okay. All. Adios. Have a super duper week. Go spread Have the word great... about Mary Kay. We've Amen. got that week, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Remember, pink keyboard.